guys, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. And you're probably sitting there wondering, what the hell is a guy that talks about dressing well doing in a graphic t-shirt? And it's a good question. It is the main focus of what I want to talk about today. So before I jump into it, you know, again, for all the new members and uh, all the new subscribers, welcome. I'm thrilled to have you. If uh, you like the content that I'm putting out and you want to get involved deeper into the discussion, our Facebook group, Bespoke Solutions, is a great place for that. Everything from trying to kind of flush out wardrobe ideas to balancing your clothing and your carry gear, all sorts of great stuff is there at your disposal. And if you want a little bit more access than that, uh, the Patreon is there as well. We've got our Discord server associated with that. You've got uh, some quarterly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff and the perks. So links to both of those are in the descriptions if you want to check them out. But let's just kind of dive into this. And so the point of it is I'm guilty of it myself. And it's a conversation that everybody needs to have on multiple different levels. And that's, are you using your training to kind of run away from the stuff that you arguably should be working on? Um, if you're familiar with the shirt, it's the path from Growing Up Guns. And it's kind of a, an infographic, if you will, of the multiple facets of being a well-rounded self-defense practitioner. Um, I'm not going to rattle them off off the top of my head because honestly, my memory's not that good. I've been hit in the head a few times, but uh, I will include a link and a description of it uh, down below so you can kind of check it out. The idea being is, is that, again, I'm guilty of this myself, we all like practicing the stuff that we're real good at. And a lot of the time that stuff that either gives us immediate feedback or it's stuff that we can kind of post up and let's just kind of look cool and, and get, get the likes and, and get, that, get that dopamine hit from the interactions on social media. Whether it's your draw to first shot video, whether it's your best build drill, whether it's the highlight reel from the last high round count class that you took, which is at this point as much of a flex of the fact that you have ammo as anything else. Um, that's the stuff that we all like working on because it's fun. And honestly, if you're really working at the mechanics of shooting, it's also relaxing because it takes you out of everything else and forces you to focus on this one singular task. Uh, Brian Hill talks about the mindfulness of shooting quite a bit. And if you haven't seen any of that content, definitely go check it out. Um, I'll throw a couple links to that down below too, because it's, it's definitely something worth watching. But it's arguably the least important part of the equation as well. I know for me, uh, I much prefer going to the range than I do going to the gym. But that's the area where I need the most work. And so if I'm going to dedicate time to something at this point, especially if you saw last week's shooting videos, my shooting skills are uh, not anything to brag about by any stretch. But my abilities with a pistol are at this point arguably at an appropriate level where maintenance is more important and I really need to be focusing on bringing the other skill sets up to that same level to stay as well-rounded as possible. And I've used, uh, you know, shooting as escapism before. And even outside of that, I've used the focus on being a well-rounded defensive practitioner, not intentionally, but I've rabbit holed on it so much that it's sidelined other things in my life, not to a real negative degree, thankfully, but uh, you know, it's one of those where if all you're doing is preparing for the gunfight that never exists, um, then what other elements of your, of your life are kind of passing you by, you know, to steal a line from Varg Freeborn who, who's playing with your wife's hair. So it's, it's making sure that you're striking that balance on the self-defense side. It's making sure that you are capable with a handgun. You've got uh, empty hand combatives experience. You've got at least some exposure to edged and impact weapons. Your medical skills are up to speed. Uh, and all of that is surrounding the mind. And it's, to, it's that concept of the one mind and weapon. That mind also 
kind of covers the the legal aspect of it as well which is if you're kind of a geek like me it's it's something that you can find interesting but it's something that gets neglected by a lot of people but even this is one facet of an even larger sphere and it's making sure that to steal a line from Mickey over carry trainer you're living a rich full life and so the challenge there is not letting this get you so far on the Travis Bickle side of the equation that you don't actually live your life. Everybody's life is going to be different in that regard. So I like to travel internationally. Uh, there are certain cultural pursuits that I like, and some of those activities preclude me from uh, carrying a firearm or sometimes other traditional weapons. However, uh, that doesn't keep me from doing them. Now, for some folks, uh, you know, the idea of leaving the U.S. ain't their flavor. That's perfectly fine. You know, the idea of, you know, museums and concerts and stuff like that might not be, uh, might not be their jam either. I'm not the type to particularly enjoy, you know, hiking out into the woods and sleeping on the ground in a tent. That's not my idea of fun, but plenty of folks do. All I'm driving at is, like I said, don't get so fixated on whichever of these elements you're already so good at that you just let it distract you from everything else. It's true on the self-defense side, and it's true just from life in general. So I periodically revisit this message for two reasons. Number one, as a reminder to myself, but also because I've been there, and it is something that is so easy to lose sight of that the occasional reminder is is helpful. So that's all I'm hoping to do with this. I'm certainly not trying to tell you how to live your life, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. So let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, I'm going to link to the shirt, so that way you can kind of go give Mark some love. And uh, other than that, hope everybody has a great week. Stay safe and stay sharp. <laughs>